How much does a metal roof cost in 2022? If you need a new roof and have been considering metal, this is one of the first and most important questions you'll need to get answered. In this video, I'll give you real dollar amounts for three different kinds of metal roofing from actual contractors' quotes. What's up guys, I'm Thad Barnett and welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. In this video, we're looking at the cost of an exposed fastener metal roof, a snap lock hidden fastener metal roof, and a mechanical seam hidden fastener metal roof on an existing residential home. We're gonna jump right into prices, but stay to the end of the video because I'll give you some tips about collecting bids and quotes from contractors. The house we're getting our bids on has a roof area of approximately 3,100 square feet, and it's a pretty simple design. Remember, a larger, more complex roof will be more expensive. The quotes that we're gonna look at today include a galvalume steel substrate, tear off of the original shingles, and a synthetic underlayment. Additionally, we've got quotes from contractors in both Ohio and Texas so we can compare locations, because cost of living in your area will make a difference. The first panel type is a 29 gauge exposed fastener panel with an SMP paint system. Our bids came out to about $5 a square foot in Ohio and $6.50 a square foot in Texas. For the 3,100 square foot residential home that we're getting quoted, that came out to $15,500 and $20,150 respectively. You can typically expect to pay anywhere from $4 to $9 a square foot for a classic rib exposed fastener metal roof. The next couple roofing types we had quoted were both standing seam panels or hidden fastener panels. First up is the SMI inch and a half snap lock 450 panel. And for us, that cost $7 a square foot in Ohio. For our house, that came out to $21,700. In Texas, we were quoted $8.50 per square foot for a total of $26,350. Expect to pay generally anywhere from $7 to $11.50 per square foot for this profile. The last option we have is the SMI inch and a half mechanical seam, quoted as a double lock. Mechanical seam profiles are more labor intensive than the previous profiles we looked at, but they're better in certain circumstances, such as low slope applications. In Ohio, it was listed for us at $8 a square foot, which comes out to be $24,800. Our Texas quote listed the square footage price at $10 for a total of $31,000. For an inch and a half mechanical seam profile, expect to typically pay anywhere from $7.50 to $13 per square foot. All standing seam quotes included a Sherwin-Williams Fluorapon PVDF paint system, and this is a higher end architectural coating than the exposed fasteners SMP. Remember, depending on your panel choice, location, material, complexity, and size of your roof, the cost will vary, but this should give you a general idea of what you can expect. And these square footage numbers are square footage of the roof area and not of the home itself, so make sure to not get that confused. When it comes to getting a bid, most contractors will come to your location, give you some literature, sometimes show you panel samples, They'll often take measurements of your roof or gather that data from satellite images to help them build your quote. This is your opportunity to ask questions and vet the contractor. There's a lot of information you need to gather from them. So we've put together a checklist of the top questions to ask so you can make sure you cover it all. And it's free, I'll link it in the description down below. Also, it's always best practice to get bids from multiple contractors so you can make sure your installers are qualified and prices remain competitive. If you need help choosing a bid for your project, check out our blog article about picking the right contractor and take the guesswork out of making your decision. Thanks for watching today's video. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel for more just like it. Comment down below if you have any questions. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.